Hey guys, Jeremy here. Um, just wanted to show off uh, one of my newer pieces of equipment. A couple of you have seen pictures of it. I thought I'd do a short video on what it is and show the, the changeover of what it is. I'll tell you a little bit about it here in a minute. So what I have is a cheap hammock that I bought because I didn't know if I was gonna like uh, hammock camping, but I bought it uh, last year. This is called the Easy Full. It's a cheap brand but uh, had pretty good reviews on it, so I decided to try it. I've slept in it a couple times, really like it so far. This one has the uh, attached mosquito netting on it, and uh, so far so good. And uh, right now I've got it upside down, so the netting is on the bottom. So I can show you this newer piece of equipment, which is, I'll show you the, the brand here. This is Terrapin Outfitters. Um, again, this is somebody I just kind of stumbled across on Facebook and they were offering some of their gear and I thought I'd give it a try. So what I have here is called a modular shell and they, they make these, they buy a downfilled quilt and they modify them into what right now is set up as an under quilt, but it's called modular because it has a couple different purposes and how it can be used. So right now set up as the under quilt, um, this has shock cord on the ends here with uh, the plastic clips where you can snap it on. They've stitched on the nylon looping to connect it. Actually has a couple of extra of the plastic clips and I just left them hanging on there. So if you ever have one that breaks or you lose or whatever, there's an extra backup right there. But uh, this has um, on either end, has some bright green shop cords so it's easy to find. And it has, I'm not sure what these are actually called, but it's the, the quick release spring loaded uh, clips where you can slide them um, easily and use that to draw up and tighten up the, uh, the shock cord on either end so that uh, the end is not all just hanging there. Now I've got this set up in my basement because I don't have any trees in my yard to hang it up on but I just wanted to check it out see how it was going to work and uh, already I can tell when I climb in here and, and lay down that it's really uh, keeping the, the body heat in, keeping some warmth in. Now they're supposed to be rated at about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. And I would say that uh, from everything I've seen and heard, they would do that. And I guess it's kind of a preference thing, but the way it's set up right now is an under quilt is one option. I've never slept with an under quilt, but I'm gonna try it out that way um, eventually when I get out into the woods. But the neat thing about this and why it's called modular is it can be switched over. Now I've never done this, so I'm doing it for the first time right here on camera but it can be flipped over to go inside the hammock and be like a top quilt. So the way this is designed, I'm gonna go ahead and, and disconnect it here and flip it over and lay it inside the hammock. So you just disconnect uh, the, the clips here and what you can actually do is just leave them hanging. You don't have to even tape that off. I've got them right now just looped through the carabiner on this end, same as on the other end. Uh, so it's just, slide it through and uh, loop it around there. So either end is there. Same thing on both ends. And then what I'm gonna do here, is I'm just gonna take this, flip it over so it doesn't fall on the ground, lay it inside, walk to the other end real quick, disconnect the same way. And it's pretty easy. here and I've got a, a ridge line and it's kind of loose hanging because I've got lights and I didn't want to have it tied up against the light. I'm going to show you the modular part of this. So on the, the foot end is a, a piece of shock cord where you, again where you can draw it up like I showed you on the other end. But it also has some snaps and what you do is just snap the foot box together and there's they're plastic so they won't rust. You got one, two, three, that's it. So three snaps. Actually a fourth one, I missed one on the end. So four snaps, which I was thinking I had four. Snap that together. And then you actually can take, so you've still got a hole in the end, but you want to draw that up as tight as you can. So you use the same, same system there with the shot cord, 
pull it up nice and tight, and then slide your quick release uh, spring loader thing there. And it has actually one on either end of that. So you can draw up from either end. Make it nice and tight. And you can either shove the shock cord inside or pull it to the outside. And that, the way it's snapped up, now you have your foot box. So when you lay inside, it will keep your feet warm. And the way it goes is the snaps would go to the bottom side. So they flip this over, and I've got all my strings laying up inside here for my uh, netting. So on the other end, I would go ahead and loosen this back up, let the shock cord out so it's looser, because this is going to be the end that would be my cover. Put that all out nice and loose. Now here, on this end, there's another piece of shock cord. And the way this works, also has the same hook on it. You hang this on your ridge line. It just slips over like that. So what you would do, to make it easier to get in and out, is you would raise this all the way up. And again, I don't have the, uh, the ridge line as, as tight as it should be. But you would raise it up, and it slides. So if I were going to use it this way as an, as an overquilt, I would slide it all the way down, climb into the hammock, slide into it. Pretty easy to slip up. I'm not going to get my feet into the foot box, but this is how it would work. Fairly simple. Slide it back down, get that quick release, and then it just drops right down on you, and you can leave it hanging there. So there it is. Covers you up. Easy to get in. You're ready to get out. Do the same thing, you reach up, pull it up. So it's again, you can slide it out of your way. In the morning, slide it back, slide your feet out. And out you go. You can slide it down out of your way however you want at that point. But that's how quick and easy it is. I've never done it before, it was my first try. If I wanted to switch it back, I just do the reverse and uh, disconnect it from the ridge line, reconnect the ends, and it's ready to go as an underquilt. Flip it underneath. So, but that's just the uh, the terrapin um, outfitters modular shell is what that's called. Um, if you're interested, you'd like to check it out. Go onto their site uh, or on Facebook. I think it's uh, To um, Outfitters. And you can check out what they have. They have different colors. I went with the green. It's a little bit uh, different green than I was expecting. Uh, more of a uh, teal, I guess you would call it. But uh, they have different options for the colors of shock cord. You can get different colors, snaps, whatever you like. Um, I actually got mine uh, seam ripped. It had uh, horizontal and vertical uh, seams in it. They took out what I would call the vertical ones. The horizontal ones are still there, which is supposed to help. Um, allow the down to float into an area where it would uh, be more uh, insulating for you as well. So just wanted to give you a quick video of that. Um, if you guys think it's something that would be interesting to you, go and check it out. But I uh, just wanted to show you what it is. Thanks for watching.